Welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. Once again, we are spending our Friday morning here at Dollywood talking about all the fun things you can do over spring break. Of course, starts here at the theme park and then so many things going on. We've got our good friend Ellen Liston here to talk about some of the other entertainment literally just right around the way that, that Dolly Parton has her hands into. There's so much to do in this area. She does. You know, it's funny. I couldn't really decide what dinner show to talk about. So I was like, which hat do I wear? Maybe a stampede hat, maybe a pirate shirt. It, that's the problem is what to do when you're here. Which one are you going to choose? I know. It's very hard to choose because all of them are just spectacular entertainment, really for the whole family. We always say it's for the kids, Ellen, but it's, it's really Big for the kids adults, like too. Us I mean, too. we Love have so much it. fun. Plus, there's something about seeing your kids enjoying the moment and having that moment with them. It's just so special. You know, I think whether it's like if you go to Dolly Parton Stampede, the kids and the big kids like us love the horses, love the pig races, love the seeing buffalo and mm. longhorns. And then, of course, stampeding when you're eating that fabulous four course feast. But then you might go to Pirates Voyage Dinner and Show and not only see pirates, but the incredible acrobatics that the pirates do, the mermaids doing all their acrobatics and diving into our lagoon to a Dolly Parton song. Mm, not really sure you can beat that either. I mean, oh my goodness. And I love how the pirates bring everybody in. I mean, you really become part of the show. Everybody exactly. gets all dressed up, wear their pirate hats and do the eye patches mm -hmm. and really just enjoying the evening. They laugh and they, you know, such emotion. I think it's that escape that we all need so much, especially after the past year, is to find a place where you can go, have some fun, have a great meal, because we've been eating in so much, mm -hmm. and just create those memories that you can think back, oh, Amy, remember that time that the mermaids did this and the acrobats did that? And then, of course, there's Salty the sea lion. You can't oh, beat him. I love Salty. Oh, my goodness. He is, of course, the star of the show for a moment there when he comes in and it's so much fun to watch, and of course that's going on. And then, literally just down the parkway, you've got the Comedy Barn, which big belly laughs. I, you know, when the first time I ever saw the Comedy Barn, I thought this has got to be the funniest thing I've ever seen, <laughs> and it's great clean comedy. Yeah. So it's great if you're three or 93 or somewhere in between. And then the next time I saw it, it was almost like a completely different show because they do so much improv comedy. And Danny Devaney might be one of the funniest people I have ever seen or heard in my life. And it's just such a fun show. And now that we're moving into spring break, mm -hmm. um, multiple time, show times. Sometimes on the weekend, we even have shows in the middle of the afternoon. So lots of choices. But definitely make a reservation because we're still on some social distancing. Right, right. And a little bit of reduced capacity. So we want folks to make those reservations so they can come when they want to to whatever show they want to. So many different ones to choose from. Alan, we'll give everybody the information. Fortunately, you can go to one website and then it just all goes off from there and you can find out and plan your whole visit. Absolutely. Great to see you, Alan. You as well. I'm sure I've got some stampeding or pirating oh, yeah. to do. So. I know, I can't decide what you're gonna go do first. All right, we're gonna take a break. We're back with more of Daytime Tri-Cities. Next, we're gonna hop on board one of those pink Jeeps that you've been seeing. It's coming up, stay with us.